New park in the Brady District is opening right now. The Guthrie Green has been in the works for about five years now. And 2 News reporter Dan Perlman is there to show us what it's all about. Good morning, Dan. Hey, Dina. Well, you know, this is actually something that's been in the works for many, many years. The United Way is even about to kick off their day of caring here. We told you a little bit about that at five, but I really want to focus on the park itself right now. The key word in its name is green, and I think you can probably see why. There is plenty of green all around us. Another way that this park is green is really in the many aspects that you see all around it. Take a look right over here and you see this bed of rocks. It really just looks, like I said, like a bed of rocks, but what it actually is is sort of a water filtration system which will clean out the runoff water here before it gets sent right into the Arkansas River so it will not be polluted in any way. The George Kaiser Foundation bought this space and asked the question, and what would be an efficient way to use it? That's when it evolved from just a green to a performance space and a place where you can come eat and exercise as well. One of the best parts is that it's right in the middle of the rapidly growing Brady District. So one of the questions I had is, why is this something we need here in Tulsa? You know, in my words, in my way of thinking, Every great urban area has to have a center, a, a piece of nature, a gathering place to be not only entertained, but just calm with the fountains and, and just to sit. I think that we have to have that. So this is a very important element. As Central Park is to New York, this is important to downtown Tulsa. Now, in addition to the stage and all this relaxing space, there is also a bar and restaurant. Lucky's on the Green will also open up today. The official uh, opening celebration will be out here at 3 o'clock today. After that, there are going to be dozens of events throughout the weekend. So if you want to come check it out, just come on down to the park. Everything down here this weekend will be free. Live in downtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.